Hey guys, I'm Srini and you're watching my trading videos on Python for Microscopist channel on YouTube. Uh, these tutorials are intended for beginners, beginning uh, uh, coders, I would say, students, researchers from uh, any field as long as you're interested in uh, image processing or even you're interested in getting into beginning programming, I would say. If you are a mid-level to advanced programmer, please don't waste your time on my channel. This is not for you. Uh, go ahead and find some better videos somewhere else. Now, uh, in this video, I'm going to talk about what programming is and how do we get started. So we're not going to code yet, but just to give some quick background. Uh, let's take a step back and understand exactly what a computer is. And I'm pretty sure most of you know what it is. A computer has hardware and software. And the best way to learn about hardware is to actually build your own computer. I've done that uh, for the first time back in 1997. Taught me a lot about what motherboard is, what uh, CPU is, what is RAM, you know, how much RAM do you need? What is GPU, you know? Uh, so all of that you'll definitely learn when you build your own computer. A software is something that sends instructions to this hardware. Uh, you probably uh, heard of, I mean, obviously you're familiar with operating systems, right? I mean, Windows 10 is what's going on right now. That's an operating system. Mac OS is an operating system. Linux is an operating system. So an operating system is a piece of software that sends instructions to uh, the hardware and an operating system also can run uh, other software on top of it. So, uh, and, and this software is actually written in a specific programming language. And there are many programming languages for a good reason, because they're designed uh, to do certain things. There, for example, there is specific programming language for if you're designing uh, uh, an app on, a, uh, on, a, uh, on an iPhone. Uh, there's a specific programming language if you're do doing web-based applications. So there are various programming languages. And the script in each programming language, you actually, uh, we call it coding. Yeah. So the code is actually written, and uh, and think of the code as uh, as uh, the 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 words, uh, for example, in a sentence. So you're actually using uh, code to define to write your program. Now, just like English language has grammar, or any language has grammar, code also has something called syntax. And you can actually afford to make mistakes in your English language, in your in your whatever spoken language, and probably still be okay conveying the message. But you cannot make syntax errors in, in coding because the computer doesn't know how to interpret. The computer doesn't know what you mean. So that's why it's a bit more important uh, to keep, uh, you know, to be very careful when it comes to, uh, you know, making these syntax errors. But it is very common, whether it is syntax errors or any other type of error, it's very common for us, especially in the beginning stages, to make a lot of errors. These are called bugs. And uh, uh, this, is, uh, this is why to write a program, you need a special type of uh, uh, interface. I mean, you can actually write program in Notepad if you want. I mean, in fact, uh, if you write uh, a program on Notepad, it probably looks something like this. Yeah, but how do you know you have made it, uh, made uh, an error? How do you know, uh, you know, uh, how to debug this? Let's say you make, may make an error here. How do you debug this? So uh, because it is a bit difficult to actually execute this program and to debug this program, we don't usually write programs in a notepad. So we write it in uh, a specifically designed uh, uh, interface, and this is called an IDE. IDE. This is uh, Integrated Development Environment. So let me just open one uh, screen right here. This is uh, uh, the one that I use for Python. And as you can see, the same code here, uh, well, it's color coded. I can change the color scheme so I can easily see if I made a mistake, you know, if I just type something, uh, print space, uh, let's say, hello, uh, you know, if, if, I, if I actually made some mistake, it's going to tell right away that 
invalid syntax. Something's gone wrong here. What, uh, what's wrong here? So I actually forgot to put these uh, uh, brackets right here. So uh, that's why IDE makes it easier for us to write code and then to execute code and to see like the results right uh, within this uh, development environment and to also uh, debug the code and so on. And I'll talk a bit more about uh, IDE in uh, one of the upcoming videos. But uh, for now, the summary of this video is uh, a program sends a set of instructions to the hardware. And in this case, we are sending a set of instructions to the hardware. We are opening an image and we are uh, uh, sending these, these uh, uh, commands or uh, uh, you know, to the hardware and how are we doing it? We are actually doing it via a code and code has syntax. And because well, we want it to be easier to write, understand, interpret, debug the code, we use something called an IDE. There are various IDEs out there and let's pick the best one for these tutorials and let's work with these. So uh, let's continue uh, understanding the basics in our next video and then I promise eventually we'll start getting into writing some code so you can get started. But it's very important to have this background information so I sincerely uh, hope that you find find these uh, this information very useful. Thank you very much and let's continue in our next video.